Let's take a look at tooltips in this video. To get started, let's import the tooltip module. So in material.module.ts, import mat tooltip module and add it to the material array. Next, in the HTML, let's create a simple button and then associate a tooltip with that button. Button, the text is going to be hello. We're going to add mat raised button as an attribute for styling. And then for the tooltip, we add mat tooltip. This is going to be equal to welcome to code evolution. If we save this and take a look at the browser, you can see that when I hover on the button, we get the tooltip. Welcome to code evolution. Now by default, the position of the tooltip is to the bottom of the element, that is below the element. The position can be controlled using the mat tooltip position attribute. You can specify before, after, above or below. Let's go with mat tooltip position is equal to after. If you save this and go back to the browser, you can see that the tooltip is placed after the button element. Now, if there is no space, the tooltip is placed in the opposite direction. For example, if I specify above, in the browser, there is no room for the tooltip to be placed above, so the tooltip is placed below. And if I specify before, there is no space to the left, so it would be placed after, which is to the right. It is also possible to add delays for showing and hiding the tooltip. Sometimes the user might be just moving their mouse around and you don't want the tooltip to pop up. So adding a delay really helps in those situations. We make use of show delay and hide delay attributes. Let's add a two second delay. Mat tooltip show delay is equal to two seconds and mat tooltip hide delay is equal to two seconds. Now, if you go back to the browser, there should be a delay in the show and hide of the tooltip. So hover on the button, one, two, and it shows up. Move your mouse away, one, two, and it is hidden again. Typically, a show delay of 600 milliseconds should be good. You wouldn't really need a hide delay, but again, it completely depends on your requirement. So that is about tooltips in Angular Material. Let's take a look at Snackbar in the next video.